I remember distinctly the first time I really hurt my right ankle, I was at Black Box in Carlsbad, and I was learning how to do... I was trying to learn how to do 360 flip Smith down the handrail because I wanted to do it on this rail. Yeah. And I was like, this is kind of, I've never done like a trick like this down a handrail. Yeah. And I was getting really close. And then one time I just didn't get in. I got into a 50, 50 and I slipped out and I just kind of sat back on my ankle and I was like, whoa, something bad just happened. And it was just because I was, like you said, I think I was just pushing myself. Cause you were pushing it. Yeah. I was just really pushing it. And then it was just kind of unlucky that I just kept, it just kept happening. Like it right. just, once it happened once, it was just prone, and then it just kept from there, just snowballed, kind of. Do you think you've ever had a window where you weren't hurt and you were completely focused? Uh, I mean, like the last few years, I think has been the the first time I felt like really just healthy and f- focused mentally. I think I was mentally not so focused in my early to mid twenties, just because of injuries and then just yeah you know just like life happening and yeah going down other avenues wanting to do stuff like music and stuff like that so makes sense yeah so now you would say that you're more focused on skateboarding than ever i think now i just injury wise i think now i just see it more like it is actually it is something that i have it's like a job that i have to really put everything i have into my mental and physical to be able to do it the way i want to and you know, when you're younger, it just comes easy and it's just like yep. fun. And then all of a sudden one day it just stops happening like that. Yep. And you kind of get stuck in this weird moment where you're like, what the fuck? I can't, I can't do these things I want to do. And I don't understand why it's not working. And then it takes some time to learn that it, you know, it all has to do with your lifestyle and mental and kind of like. He made a big shift in, in terms of his lifestyle and his approach and. It sounds like it. Eating well, healthy, not drinking. Yeah, like yeah, I think really I just figured it out. I saw. <laughs> I just saw that it was not where it was heading. I was that was not going to be somewhere that I could do the things I want right. to do. You know, so tried to shift it, and luckily, I think I caught it early enough to where I still have some some time to skate at a level that I want to. And then, obviously, I think you know, there's always a time when you have to just pull back because because it's just the reality of. Yeah. Of your physicality and your, but not your yet. body. No, not yet. I think not I got... A, at all. I think I got some time before I'm ready to consciously look at a sk- spot and be like, oh, yeah, no, it's just not worth it, you know? So does that mean you have big plans for the near future? I'm just skating and filming and just trying to just do stuff that I'm stoked on and not, you know, I'm just trying to not half-ass any anything when I'm out filming. I want to do things that I have specific tricks that I want to do and film. And I think that's just how it is now. I think people, it's much more skating is so much more like thought out and methodical nowadays when with video parts. And you see these people that have these epic video parts, you can, you just know watching it, how much work went into it and how much thought and all that stuff. And that's what you're working on. I'm trying to, I mean, yeah, that's the shoulder was a little bit of a setback, which was a bummer because I wasn't even skating, but that, Yep. You know, I I was telling a couple of buddies, it's just like I was do one somewhere because I was just getting away with too much all at once. You can't <laughs> you can't be doing everything like that and expect nothing to happen. So, yeah. So now you would be if you're doing other sports, you would be like, let's let's enjoy ourselves. It checked me a little for sure, right. especially snowboarding. I was like, OK, I need to. Just pull back because it was, I know I can push myself there, but it's not worth it right now when no. I have these g- goals that I want to do skating. So It's I'm, a window that you have. I'm in that window right now. So right. I'm, you know, when this is better, I'm really trying to focus on just put it all on the line for skating versus like, you know, divvy it out yeah. throughout a bunch of different things. So I mean, when you think about it, if you're doing all these other things, you always have been doing all these other things while being a, exactly. a very That's successful pro feels skateboarder. Normal, yeah. Imagine if you channeled it all into just your skateboard part, like what yeah. it's going to look like. I just, I try to not make it feel so overbearing in that way. I don't want it to feel, you know, like it's taking too much of a mental toll, but I think that you need some of that, some of that, push to where you go to a place mentally you don't really want to but i think that's how you get the best results out of doing something you want to do so right because in the end there's going to be that payoff 
exactly. where there was yeah. some grueling times and you were in a mental space where you were like, yeah. this is not the most enjoyable mental space to be in, but For the sure. payoff. There's a fine line of like when it's working too easy and then when you're putting in just that right amount of effort and struggle to where it really feels good when, when things do work out. Right. When you and, and in your era, like to be good now... I mean, it's so everyone insane. is so everyone good. Everyone is so good. It's nuts. I right. mean, I think like if I film the best video part I can possibly film, there will be people that are like, "That was awesome. That was the best video part you've had." But then you know, it's gonna just go into this big machine of globbed internet video stuff, and that's just is what it is. Yeah. It's just it's not the same where it used to be. You know, there is this video, and everyone knows like this guy. There's the guy right now, yeah. and it's just that. Like that does kind of happen, but not really anymore. But it's not what it's about in the in the end. Like when it's all said and done, it's not about that anymore. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I've just been skating a lot with a lot of my buddies that I grew up skating with, and we've been taking the Birdhouse van, and it feels it. I really have felt like it's that era again where we're all sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and we're just having a lot of fun. But the skating is working really well because of that vibe yeah. and that energy and we're just trying to keep riding that way <laughs> yeah hold on to it man because that's a that's a sweet pocket <laughs> and i think now having gone through that with like all the shep dogs videos and everything yeah i didn't we didn't realize how awesome something was that we had when we had it and now yeah. looking back in hindsight i can feel that that's how it feels right now skating with my friends so i'm just really trying to enjoy it and like take advantage and go on all these trips and yeah and do it in a way that feels fun again you know smart man yeah. so cool 